right. We're live. So, uh, hey, uh, Dan, are you home? Uh, yeah. Good. Um, I might not be home, but, uh, I wonder if you can stay there and watch my cat for me, please. Oh my god, I love your cats. They're the best. I'll do anything for you. Oh, you're so sweet, Dan. Thanks. You know, uh, Tyrone is taking me out, and, you know, we're, we're gonna have some fun tonight. Is that okay? I, I promise to uh, come home soon. I mean, it might be a little late, but I'll, you can stay there, right? I know you like to have fun with the cats, don't you? Hey, babe, as long as you're having fun, I'm down for whatever. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Oh, you're so sweet and thoughtful. Oh, you spoil me. Thanks, though. Remember, the cat likes to throw up a lot and stay there past, you know, 11, 12. I don't know when I'm going to come home. Ah, fuck this sim shit. Drop the intro. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to season two of the Catch Up, the number one podcast where you feed your curiosity. And uh, today, welcome back, Robbie Young. Hey, everybody, ladies, men, subhumans, how y'all doing? What's up? What's popping? What's going on? Konnichiwa. Uh, don't worry. Got all that. You know what I'm saying? You're a... Hey, <laughs> all right. Cool, cool shit happened. Um, this whole week was like mad crazy because uh, we had some interesting experiences with... Uh, I'm going to teach, teach you something today. It's called being a simp and not being a simp. That's true. That intro... Mad simp. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mad problematic. Like, I don't, I don't care. Real life is real life. <laughs> I just like making up names. And uh, cool thing. Uh, t- t- uh, here's, a, here's a tip. Robbie is really good at combating this. By how? A magic button on your phone called airplane mode. <laughs> exactly, folks. Airplane mode comes simple on every phone. All you have to do is press it. And voila. You can focus on anything. Learn to be alone. Forget about the people around you. Forget the surroundings. Damn, you try. <laughs> don't don't be that guy to be like, hey, I can do anything for you. Like, whether it's guys, guy to guys, guy to girl, girl to girl. I know girls girl to be doing that all the time. Oh yeah, I seen it. I, I was with a girl, and like her girls would hit her up, and then she would just like look at her phone, and then and then oh, put it back down. Damn. That's true. That that is true. So I mean, girls, I I don't mean to expose you guys, but uh, I mean, you know what you do. He does mean to expose you, ladies. Yeah, I mean, we're just talking the real stuff. Season two of the catch up is more, uh, real. Catch I mean, up. yeah, catch up. It's real. So you got to catch up to what's going on. It's a real day. Like technology's moving so fast. Da 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 da. And then here, I'm I'm helping you catch up to what's going on in the world. Yeah, everything, politics, technology. Sexual things? Sexual maybe, thing. maybe not. No, that's usually boring half the time. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Environmental? I don't know. Is this political podcast? Uh, maybe. No, no, food no, podcast? No, 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 never, never that. I <laughs> food? I, I'm into food, but I don't know how to really talk about it. I might do like a mukbang every now and then. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Because like the first time I heard mukbang, I thought it was like sexual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> something I would find on like Pornhub. But Asian Pukaki. Like <laughs> I was like, oh, that's, a, me, that's a new thing. Let, let me search this up. You go there. Oh, it's just a girl eating food. Well, it's like <laughs> I mean, most of like guys. It's like whole, oh, it's dudes uh, eating food over. Yeah, they just like a whole thing of Taco Bell. Or I, I can't lie, I be watching uh, Timothy De La Ghetto. It oh, I thought you meant about. they were all on Pornhub eating. Food. Oh no, no, no. I, uh, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can find a lot of stuff on Pornhub, but that Pino. <laughs> this is advertisers friendly, by the way. Ah. Uh, Rob, all right, help, help the people out. Like, how, how'd you get into this, like, airplane mode and not, like, give a fuck about what people want from you? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, is what it is. That's how I feel about it. Damn. I feel bad now. I feel like... No, nah, but it's the it. truth. Uh, Teach them devils. All right, all right. Let me, let me get the good Bible. Let me get the good word. Yeah. But, <laughs> nah, uh, basically, when did it start? Uh, f- a while ago, I learned that um, from... A friend of mine, if you don't know him. His name is uh, Timothy Rolo. Yeah. Yeah. Rolo, just a few other people. And listening to uh, old... Uh, he wrote a book called The Rational Mail. Very good book. 
Uh, besides that, listen to um, some old comedians and really understand them. Like Patrice O'Neill, they they throw the name around a lot in like Rational Mail uh, group and other things. And I'm like, ah, okay, it's cool. Like he he throws some gems. Like I'm not gonna lie, they're hilarious gems. But he throws some gems. But and a few friends too. Besides this guy and yeah. uh, uh-uh. my boy uh, Demons and a few others. You know, I just Ooh. realized I had to focus on you know growing and one thing. Had to do the focus was turn off the phone so I wouldn't see Instagram comments and also I like to help people you know this distractions the devil yes and everybody knows if somebody calls me hey you need help hey I'll come I'll come right away and throw my projects aside and I realized I was like but like you focus on helping people though like once once you're helping that person that's that's your focus yeah it's so just, like that, you you got you know how to that narrow with that tunnel vision yeah that's that's dope. Yeah, and that's that's only because in my mind I imagine like uh, oh, is weird a, a scenario like uh, if I fail them, yeah, dang this is suck. Like it's a video game or something. Like oh man, like I I put a whole story in like if I don't get this done for them, something bad will happen. Like it's a time limit. Like my whole life, it's just like I treat it like a movie. Like if I don't get this done, this is gonna suck. So I'm just like I gotta get it done. So in Robbie's head, the Avengers. Like if you haven't watched Endgame yet, oh yeah, this alternate timelines. Robbie thinks of all those timelines. Yeah, it's really happening. Yeah, in like, my head, <laughs> he he, figure, he tries thinks of all those situations. <laughs> if Doctor Strange gave away the time gem, I go up and float, and I'm we're like, dead. <laughs> we're done. We are done. Dang, I'm like. Well, I I gotta say something else about like minimalism, like. Yeah, like for the when we when I hosted the the TEDx talk, but there's a yeah, there was a guy. Uh, Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. He he said that like it was small. This dude hosted TEDx talk, but there's a. I was just one of the guys on the team. Hey, shout like, out to Chad flex. too, and everybody there. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? Chad, Michelle, Terrell, beautiful the individuals, team, and all the volunteers. Only thank you, Chad, but you know, beautiful individuals, probably all of them. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool hosting the event. But go ahead and continue, man. Oh, it was this guy. His name is Matt Paxton. He was talking, and he was uh, he's on a show, an A and E show called Hoarders. So he was just telling people, minimize your materials, and it'll simplify your life, so you can focus. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you do it. I'm not saying you just put an example out there. Like you put your phone on airplane mode, and oh, yeah. it helps you <laughs> figure out what's in front of you rather than this random stuff that you don't really need to care about. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. It it's helped me these past few months, especially saving. Because your boy, teach these devils. Your boy, I'm not gonna lie, was not that great at saving the passes. I was spending on a lot of other people instead, mm. and I was like, bills were like, and still to this day, I still have that lax daisy about bills. And I'm like, okay, all right, pay yeah. it. But I realize if I keep it simple, yeah, compact it, you know, right, right, right. Things become easy. I don't live uh, above my means. Yeah, I'm good. So I just started to get rid of things I didn't need, like. I literally had like uh, three TVs in my house, and I just gave them away because I'm like, I'm basically the only one living there now. I'm like, bong, bong. he lives on his own, guys. Give I mean, those ladies. Away. Oh no, nah, I ain't coming over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can come over when you when he wants you to come over. Yeah, I only let my nicks come over if they want to study. Bam, that's what. I, actually, that's what I'm trying to set it up as. Is it a library? Yeah, something like that. Like. If you were anybody I know, I was like, yo, I just need a place where nobody bothers me. I'm we like, work. yo, I'm not in town. Come through. I might just set up the podcast there. Hey, when it's done, you can set it up there. Uh, Robbie Studios. Come through, man. RLY. Well, all right. Let me, let me bring it right back. So uh, last season. Yeah. Last season on the catch up. That sounds so legit. Last se- oh, yo, they got a little uh, flashback. Bong, bong. <laughs> yeah. So Robbie was on the podcast last year. Yeah. And uh, I, I, want, I want to talk about like growth. Mm-hmm. So like the first, oh, the, the biggest thing I want to say is the minimalism, and then like, what, what do you remember? Like it's honestly, I think it was about a year ago yeah. last time we were on this. Year and some change. Yeah. So like, what what do you think changed over the past year? Uh, between us or just me? Just you, or I mean both, whatever. Like in life. All right. Because um, I know you weren't you weren't doing your video videography not stuff that much. until like summertime, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was just like. Trying talk talk about them experiences. Trying to figure shit out, guys. Talk you about know? that double toppy stuff. You know, trying to see uh, that flex life. What is better, blowjob from the front or back? I don't know. You know, life mm. decisions. You know. Yeah. Do yeah. I sit on a toilet frontwards or backwards? I don't. Yo yo. yo. I want to hear about about these uh, experiences. 
So the experiences. Oh, oh man, yeah. are you even allowed to talk about this? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Half of the project could have done so. All right. It was great. I'm not gonna lie. It was a struggle. I'm not gonna say everything was great. It was uh I'll say it was tough because there were some months that I was just doing the jobs yeah. just to do it because I was thinking, yo, I love this guy's giving me these people are giving me great value. I didn't care about the pay half the time. I was like, I'm jumping in and learn something new. What what did they start you out as? Like I know they do like they do people dirty in the beginning. Oh, I was let's see, I was a production assistant and So what does that mean? So that basically you just help around set. You help out with anything they need. Like if you need somebody to jerry rig something, yo, I got you. So you like the fluffer on the pinos? Yeah. Oh. Basically. That's yeah. basically what it is. That's have a person you, have you assistant. <laughs> <Did I buy? laughs> let me let me see. Uh, like, you good? You good? Me, uh, half, work around. Half, half half strong. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm straight, by the way. So, <laughs> no, just throw that out there. While you're <laughs> Make the deal more uncomfortable. I'm straight, by the way. <laughs> He's like, Why you say that, man? That right, right. <laughs> He's making it real awkward like that. You're just doing your job. I realize that. <laughs> now, nah, but it was great. It was um. I had to do some of that and then learn um, some stuff in just motion graphics and moving things and uh, just trying to learn everything I can about just editing in a new uh, software. And that's like becoming your new passion now, right? Oh, yeah. It's fun. Like I, I'm learning these skills because I told myself um, I like helping people. Yeah. And I said I want to make that like a business, just make it a thing where if I have that skill, I can help you. And I like helping people that's either in starting up their business or... Uh, need help with that extra push, and I'm like, yeah. yo, I have the tools here to help promote it. Boom, boom, boom. Once I help you build a foundation, I go to the next one. I'm like, hey, it's done. It's getting fun. Like right now, I'm helping uh, my mentor right now, and it's it's great because I'm seeing. I've been a uh, few states I haven't been to in a while or nice. at all. Yeah, like I didn't expect to. I'm not gonna lie. I've been in New York, but only on the outside. Okay. This year was my first time going to like. Manhattan? Yeah. Manhattan, oh, sure. Madison. Yeah, man. I was and like, that flex to uh, Florida? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Florida was to do bomb. some work? Florida was bomb. I went for work, and then I went back for a wedding. It was great. It was back to back. I was like, ah. Well, well tell, me, tell me about, uh, so like, what, what do you actually do? Or I want to really get into like how most people, like they hit me up talking about they, they like helping people, yeah. but they're not really good at anything yet. Oh, they just like helping okay. people. But one thing I want to highlight from you is that, like, you actually kind of dove in with the uh, videography. Like you were saying, you were a production assistant, and now you're actually going more into editing. And that's where you really kind of help people the most. Like, you help me the most with editing. Yeah, thanks. So, uh, yeah, so like, you do some good work. If you look at anything on my sumo lifts, the catch up, I mean, like, we, we kind of do moco events on IG. Oh, yeah. Like, all, most of that stuff is you. I forgot about that. Yo, I know, right? I, I'm not going to lie. When I do stuff, I just do it. Exactly. And so I, it's my job to highlight you, yeah, dog. I never look at it because here's the thing. I'm so good at highlighting other people. I literally forget about myself half the time. Like it, It's become a craft where I know what to say to switch the conversation from people talking about me to them. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good. Yeah. So, so are you learning you like to be like behind the scenes type of guy? Yeah. Okay. I like to be behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm half and half. Yeah. Like... If no one wants to take the lead, I will take the lead. Yeah. Like fact. But I mean, if I can, I'll be I'll be in the back. I I just I like being the host. You like being the host? Yeah. I'll I'll be the host and that's it. I'll be like the host, but then I'm going right back to hype man. I'm like, yo, yeah, what's up, man? Yo, my boy's here. Hey, br- 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 and then I'll go right to the back, like, all right, yeah, now I'm spinning. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Like, yo, look at my man. Yeah, look at him, man. Yo, Dan, you doing good. You doing good. Come on, get better. Come on. Get better. <laughs> <laughs> you well fit, Dan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Flex, man. You got yeah. muscles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, And Cynthia, Cynthia, you, you flexing on them. Yeah, you doing good, girl. You're good, girl. Yeah, yeah, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep up your push ups. Yeah. <laughs> do your little uh, air squats. <laughs> Cynthia, yeah, yeah. You got a little flaps in there, but you know you can lose. You got it. You can lose it. You know nah, it's natural. Yeah, yeah. Summertime, is, you got you got time. You, you got time. Summertime, not even here yet. You got four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that like it's like real positive, but yeah. it's like it's it's real, but it's kind of not real. Like yeah, it's just I don't know. I, but a lot of people like that. Why 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 people like that, Rob? What positivity? Well, I mean, it is positivity, but it's kind of like insecure fo- positivity. Oh, I don't know, because it, it jabbed at them because it's truthful, truthfulness. You know, it, 
it digs in uh, something deeper, yeah. honestly. It because when it hurts, when it's true. So, you know, if somebody says something as a joke, but it's true, you're like, ah, fuck, that hurt. Uh-huh. Ah, like if somebody jokes you about your shoes, like, oh man, your shoes are crusty. Like, Where'd you get those from? Right, um, crusty ass shoes. Ew. Right. And it's like, hey, I'm saving money. Ah, yeah, you gotta. Right. And usually, what works is if you're truthful with it. If you're like, yo, there's some crusty shoes. Oh yeah, hell yeah. You know, hey, got it for pay less, baby. Man. They're like, oh. Shit, no, that, no, that's no, one no, thing. No. That's like that's a, that's a security of in with yourself and your ego. That's like that true masculinity stuff. Yeah, you really. I know we'd be, be talking about that. You really have to be secure with yourself and just be accessible for what happens. If you don't got it, you don't got it. Right. It's like so. What? If you don't got the car, you don't got the car. If you don't got the watch, you don't got the watch. You don't, you don't got to prove nothing to nobody. It's just, it's. It's all about the inside. Yeah, deeper mentality. You gotta dig deep within yourself and ask yourself, why do you really care about uh, half the things that. If people say you don't have, you don't have it. Or if you don't listen to a certain type of thing, you really have to build your mentality up in your subconscious. Go deep and ask yourself these questions. Like, why do you get mad when certain when certain topics come up or whatever? And I think people don't do that. And I'm just like, nah, damn. Most people they just they're afraid of themselves, like what they truly think. So they just follow the crowd. I I don't know if I ever told you this, but when um I think I put a a, a poll on my Instagram, and it was a question about. Would you rather be wrong in a group or be right by yourself? I was surprised how many people said they'd rather be wrong. Wrong? Because it's in a group. Yeah. Because yeah. they'd rather have that group think and be like, we oh. wrong together. Yeah. And that's because they want to be uh, with the trend. They don't want to stand out. But I feel like it's a fairy tale type of thing. Like, Well, we are. Everybody's uh, been hypnotized by the Disney fairy tale. So, you know, it's popular. So Disney's believed us a. Uh, Oh, you know, the group is not, it's just, um, um, I'll say not imaginative, just, uh, is it emasculate? The word's in my head, but I can't explain it well. It's just, it makes it seem as though everything is a fantasy. So it's like, uh, okay, exactly. we have to be with the group. It's uh, like a hopeless romantic type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, oh, you know, if I do this, oh, we'll work out easily, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you But know. I feel like there's always levels to it. And it's like... Realism and not realism, or not realism and like op- opportunistic or uh, optimistic. Yeah. So it's like I think one thing I always be telling people is like, see the world as it is and not what you expect. Yeah, you do say that a lot. Yeah, yeah. but that's real, man. Like, yeah. I, I, whenever I catch someone and like, yeah, it's gonna work out, but I'm like, if if she's like cheating on you and da da da. Yeah, well, like, that I would been like, like, yo, you gotta hit. Come on, man. See, that's the thing. You gotta hit somebody when it's something like that. Or it's something that they really need some facts with. You have to hit them with truth and say, hit them with some either just that, hit them with that stoic truth and be like, yo, dude, no. Just bring them back to earth. Yeah, It's something I told you always, uh, sometimes I need to be uh, grounded because I can go off into fantasy land so quick. I have, like, I, as they say, uh, manifest so many ridiculous ideas that I'll sometimes get lost in those ideas. And I've been learning the past a few months to a year to just, all right, bring myself back down. Which which ones actually feel right to me and which ones will actually work? And I'm like, okay, these, okay, these will work out. Because there's some... Time. For all my Zodiac people, Robbie is a Capricorn, right? Nah. No, nah, what are you? I'm a... I think you're Capricorn. Aquarius, actually. Seriously? Man. Oh. So yeah. water? Oh, you go with the flow? Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Go with the flow, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I was about to say, like, I was going with the Zodiac sign, because, I, well, I think you're more Myers-Briggs than anything else. Eh, I, or I don't know. honestly, yeah. I, I know I, most people, they know Zodiacs for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I, I still know the Zodiacs and everything. Like, I try to study um, both. I don't want to try to fit, no, eggs in one basket. Right. Like, I'll learn about it. Uh, I'll say my strengths is a little more Myers-Briggs, but I still learn the Zodiac because, you know. People ask that more. It's it's a way. It's best way to communicate, and I think that's that's one of the yeah. most important things. If you can communicate well, that's true. I I would say I like to though throw sometimes random uh, Myers Briggs or anything in there just yeah. to open a conversation, just to open their mind, right? Just to learn something new. Most just, of the time, know. when I do bring it up, they're like, "Oh, what is that? Yeah. Can I take the test too?" But they're more like just challenging their own thought, not really trying to be open to learn it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it's like, true. oh, am I really what what the zodiac said? But if they say it like this, and it's weird, I think um, even the zodiacs. I think all of these were uh, necessarily just tools for you to 
in in, in IMO in my opinion. Um, yeah. to see inside yourself right. and use it to help you grow. But right. people always do it, and they have that like self confirmation. Yeah, and they I'm have like, a sort why? of tribalism, like I'm this, so uh, it's just like, yeah, uh, yo, man, I really think it was just to see that either that those demons and angels working inside your body. That's what um, uh, I forgot what's the name online calls it. Like you have the back. Wait, the who demons. calls it? I've um, this guy's cool YouTube channel, uh, Dave Superpowers. Oh, he okay. says your back demons and your front are your angels, and you need to work on all of them, and not just one. Like there needs to be a balance, yeah, between all of them. You know, you, everything needs to flow. Yeah, I think that's that's a major key right there. Yeah, because I was talking to this girl, and she she kept like repeating. Like, she's very like holistic. And she like believes in like watching like the moon and the stars. Yeah, she was saying like everything needs balance. Like you can't know what's good if you don't know what's bad. But I, I feel like a lot of people they don't they don't take that in full accountability. Like, they just want to see the good and the good. Like, I, I went to, like, a religious group earlier today, and everything I heard was, like, like the word, the word of God, blah, 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 was, like, this is right. And then when, when one of their friends who they want to help is, doesn't believe it, he said, I, I want to teach him what's right. But then it's, it's the way he's communicating. I wanted to say that, but I, feel, I felt like it wasn't my place because uh, it was my first time going there, too. Yeah. So I was like, this is going to be It's weird trying to uh, break the tribalistic, tribalistic thoughts from right. that, it, those individuals or groups. Yeah, it's, it's tough because I'm not going to lie. If somebody has uh, anything that deep into a religious thought, it's hard to not break them from it, but yeah. show them a different opinion, especially if it's ingrained. Because you're just like so taught at a young age. Yeah, and it's like trying to, they're um, hacked in, and you're just like... I'm just trying to put this code in to tell you. Yeah. And then a whole bunch of random hackers come out of nowhere and they're like, no, no, you can't do that. A virus is like, nah, nah, nah. It's like the Matrix. Basically, yeah. Red pill, blue pill. <laughs> uh. But no, but that's, that's like funny though. I mean, not really funny, but it's like, that's exactly how it is. From like every time you grow up, like your parents taught you or whatever you were exposed to kind of dictates how you see things. Yeah. And it's, it's weird. It's sometimes um, based on some experiences you have is how you grow up and right. uh, what you use to adapt. Like, I've learned about myself, and a few people said this. I just, I like so many random uh, different concepts and different things. I'll collect information, even though it's useless. And I remember yeah. a few people at Noodles told me, like, some information I have makes no sense to have. Like, True. I, I can, I can co-sign to that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> some stuff where I'm like, yo, you know, if you put lava... And you drop a dime in it, it, it's like, yo, why do you have that? What do yeah, you put that mad facts? Let me spit out more facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, well, I'm, I'm like, like yo, oh, that's cool though. Yo, if you uh take a beer and throw it at the sun, you know what would happen? It was like, yo, why the why the hell would I throw a beer? Oh no, at no, the sun? that just made me realize something. If you if you work at a restaurant, and yeah. you have an ice machine, you th you throw like a, a like a block of ice at the wall, it, it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it, it's a good way to release stress. I just had to say that. I played that <laughs> game when I was 18. <laughs> like, when I was mad stressed because I was a manager at 18 years yeah. old, I would just, like, go to the ice machine, grab, like, a handful of ice, throw it at the wall because it's just water, and we're going to clean up the floor at the end of the night anyway. So it was like, <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, didn't you tell John that? Yeah, yeah John loves that. <laughs> <laughs> he still do I think he still does it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I wish you had an ad to be I like, know. to this <laughs> day. <laughs> that would have added some flavor to it. Like, My legacy lives day. forever. <laughs> It lives on. Hey, that's how you do it, man. That's how you play long game. You play as a seed, and uh, it grows in somebody's brain, and they take it and pass it on. That's that's one way of spreading the legacy, man. If I ever hear like a block of ice getting crushed, like like or it's like thrown against a wall while I'm at a restaurant, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yo, that's my idea. <laughs> I've been done that. Yo, patent that, patent that joint, man. <laughs> yo, you better patent that. <laughs> you come to the store suing noodles for a hundred thousand. <laughs> yo, that's my idea. Yo, I did that in '09. <laughs> you have no proof. You send out like the files. You see that watermark? That was me, <laughs> March, two thousand nine. Got your little initials on there. <laughs> yo, why do you? How do you do that in permanent marker? How do you know? You're like, yo, I'm long term. I'm Gary V. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, yo, zoom in on the camera. I uh, outworked you. <laughs> I predict the future. Right? Nah. <laughs> Well, yeah, hey, Rob, let me, let me get back to you real quick. Uh, See how talk, good I am? Yeah, but no, <laughs> but talk, talk, talk to you about uh, about videos. Like, I, I think I want to learn more about video too, because mm -hmm. you've been showing me uh, this hack. Like, instead of uh, sending files off of like Gmail and how that limit you, we what do we use? Oh yeah, we transfer. Yeah, we transfer. this um, 
And this is WeTransfer.com, right? Yeah, WeTransfer.com. There's a lot of uh, websites out there that you can send, like, bigger files besides Google. Yeah. Google's just getting weird with it. And for free. Yeah, and it's for free. You can send up to what? Um, four gigabytes, which is rare because That's most... A lot. Most websites will not let you see that. And then you sign up, you pay, what, $7 a month? Gmail won't even let me put up, like, 15 megabytes. Yeah. <laughs> I can do, like, uh, what's that, PDF file. That's it. Yeah, and then also what's weird is uh, you have to, after you buy, even if you buy space and Cloud send it space. something, people need permission to just yeah. view it and download it. I'm like... Like, that's annoying, like Google Docs. Yeah, and then it compresses it sometimes. I'm like, man. And then, like, it changes the rendering of whatever you did, so you just redo it. But with, with WeTransfer, it's like, it's just you get file. it, you download it, you're done. And then that's it. Yeah. yeah. And it goes away after, like, 14 days. So it's kind of like, uh, what's it called, Snapchat or... Um, yeah, Snapchat. It's just Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat's yeah. the only <laughs> thing I know that disappears after Yeah, something. Snapchat... Or like IG story. Oh yeah. Well, well I mean they archive it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not they don't really, really disappear. <laughs> Technology. They lie like uh, they, even, well they don't lie. They even say it in the terms of service. But no one reads that shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I always weird out when people get surprised. Like people probably very quick. Oh, they're checking our privacy. Uh, yo, it like, says that in soon you just signed it since two thousand what? Do you agreed to it when you signed up for your account. Yeah. You just didn't read it. Now yeah. you get mad at Facebook. I'm like, yo. You knew. Come on. You, you gave away your privacy a long time ago. So, ah, uh, uh, we found that transfer hack. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, what about uh, uh, video? Video, um, what's it called? Editing. Like, what do you use? I use, actually, uh, everybody. Um, I was using Premiere for a while. Uh-huh. And let me just say. Most people use Premiere. I, I'm not going to lie. Premiere, to me, honestly, to give an honest review of Premiere, Premiere, to me, throughout the years, was like that girlfriend <laughs> that you helped along the way grow damn like you could i can go through each one like when it was cs2 it was like all right girl i know he's struggling but you know let's do it and she's like i don't know you know it's tough she's like the here. apple of laptops where she like she's good for everything but she's not really good at anything specifically well, that's the thing and CS, <laughs> cs2 and cs3 i'm not gonna lie they were fire like i oh, was okay. like playing with animation and stuff like that just p- figuring things out it was just yo they knew what the consumer wanted they yeah. created a Different products, like they had the creative, different creative suites for production people, for photography, everything. And they set it up like, yo, we got all of y'all. You know what? Yeah. I'm telling you, just like that girl that, you know, you like CS3 <laughs> came around. She was cool. CS4 was a little clunky. Cause so me, it's like that college girl that you just met, like your freshman, sophomore year. And then just like, yo, she's awesome. She does everything for me. She yeah. like sucks my dick from the back. Yeah. <laughs> she gives me massages. Hey, man. She even lets me. No, wait, that would be too controversial. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, but yeah, she was good. But then once you, like, get out of college, college and then you you're like, oh, the real life is a little bit different. Yeah. You got to act a little, look a little more uh, something else. Yeah, <laughs> and that that happened. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was cool when they started getting popular and, like, videos started getting popular. Like, I'll say, when they got the cloud version after CS6, oh. that's when it was like, okay. Because they tried to say, we're trying to do it so people won't download. I was like, yo. People downloaded it even with the cloud, so I was like, "Oh yeah, like uh, back in the day, like Photoshop and everything, Photoshop collection was, or not uh, Photoshop, Adobe, yeah, Adobe collection was all their own entity." And now, like since they added the cloud to it, it it started. It's like this, but I can still see it. But there's like a lot of free trials on everything, though. You could use everything for free still. But th- here's the thing: they've raised the prices on some of their stuff, and. The one thing people want fixed, they still haven't fixed it. Like, they've added some cool new uh, effects to it, which yeah. I'm like, yo, it, it's bomb. Yeah. Like, um, now you can, say if you had a video of you and you wanted, like, a, a girl out the video, it's called Content Aware Tool. Oh. You can just circle them, and it automatically takes them out. Wow. And this is video. So I was like, that's cool and scary because I can see the future connotations for that. And I'm like, Yeah, I heard about that. Like, nowadays, you can, like, change people's faces. Oh, yeah, yeah. say whatever they want. Or, like, uh, yeah. voice change. Yeah, like, deep fakes. It's yeah. weird because that's been around for a while, but people are now, like, catching on to it. Yeah. I'm like, but I feel like that's been around since I, f- I could swear. Maybe I'm having a um, Brain Mandela fart. effect, but Mandela I effect. could What's swear... Uh, when you think you heard of something or seen something and it, it really was never that way. Mandela does that? No. Like the Mandela? Ma- <laughs> <laughs> like what? He's, He's like, like really the, Mandela of <laughs> <laughs> the Mandela The Mandela Trevor Noah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what he did that made it that or the definition or whatever but 
basically it's like when you think uh, something happened, but it never actually happened, like Sinbad being in a, um, a uh, genie movie. Oh. And people thought like, oh, yo, Sinbad's in that movie. It it never happened. Wait, what? He was never in that movie? No, there was no movie with Sinbad. Well, he was in it. Snow Dogs. Yeah, he was in Snow Dogs. Okay. He was a genie. I, I remember that. <laughs> no, that was Shaq. Yeah, that was Shaq, but... People thought Sinbad was what actually in it. Like the bear scene bear, it's not like how it's spelled. And people were like, yo, what? Like people were like freaking out about some Mandela effect. It's like what you oh. think is, and everybody thinks it is, but it's not that. I'm going to repeat myself again. See the world as it is, not what you expect. <laughs> this could be my trademark. Trademark. Oh. Now watch somebody take it after they view this. But, uh, I mean, like, hey, as long <laughs> as, again, long game. I don't care. <laughs> I started it. Stamped that. Pulling that Elon, yo, I'm gonna give it to everybody <clears> for free. <laughs> All right, All but right. yeah, Adobe, yeah, it's it's cool, but I can see now it's like slowly, what? Because they haven't fixed the one thing people want to fix, and that's yo, when I render something, I want it to be quick. Oh, it's still like really, really slow. How do how do you fix? How do you make it faster? So you either have to change your. The GPU or mostly the GPU. Isn't that like the software of your own computer though? Or no, but you can change your GPU. Oh. Like, I don't know about for Macs because yeah, Macs are getting drunk, but PCs mostly you can do that. And then if you, uh, sp- just a little bit, you don't need that much for Premiere to change the CPU to GPU. But once you do that, add a little space, like changing it to an SSD drive. People, people, like, if you really want, like, if you have any editing software and you want to know how to do it, just it, the smaller things will make it faster. Like, if you want, your apps to upload better, put it on a, let it open on SSD. If you want your uh, certain things to go faster, like your editing programs, just always check how much GPU it needs that will give it the bare minimum. Like I use DaVinci Resolve right now, mm. and uh, the minimum is 16 gigabytes. But like if you want a bigger push, it's like better to get 32 gigabytes of RAM. And that way, how much RAM it has, it increases everything, like uh, the that flexibility process, and everything. Okay. Yeah. So, the reason that's why the reason I switched to DaVinci Resolve. I first got um, introduced by it by uh, my, the mentor of mine, and we found out by somebody who's basically a very good colorist. Like, I didn't know how good he was till people were like, "Oh yeah, he's probably one of the best colorists on the East Coast." And mm. um, I was like, "Oh shit!" Dude. But he's told me he he's been using Premiere since it was like in the '90s, but now he used he he switched to DaVinci Resolve like. A few years ago, and he's like, "Yo, I tried to go back to Premiere. It feels ancient. It feels like you, like you went back from driving a Tesla, jumping back on a horse." I was like, "Man, wow, (laughs) yeah." And then I use it. I'm like, "Yeah." So far as like coloring wise and everything, yeah. And how quick it is, it gets out projects. Like I've edited an AK project, and let's see, it was 12 minutes. And usually for Premiere, it took a while. For Resolve, that took. Like five minutes of rendering. Wait for eight minutes? Oh wow! Yeah, for an eight K video. Eight K, but that you can, can you even watch that on TV? No, you can't. Yeah, now, you can't even. Four like, K is the biggest or the best resolution yeah, and, on the TV right and, now. And people still that still, still doesn't work out. Right? Yeah, like uh, it, the resolution. If you ever see a five K screen or something, if you put something regular on here, it go it gets so small. It's like, damn, because it's just too much yeah. right now. So. Even though there's 4K cameras, nobody uses 4K for a lot of the commercials I see nowadays. It's still like, they'll record it in 4K, but they'll downgrade it to 1080. Okay. Just so, you know, because just so you can push in. A good example is uh, that one guy, MKBHD. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, I record on AK, but he pushes it down to 1080 because um, AK is so, it's basically 6K. It's not AK, but... That's a whole different story. Uh-huh. But basically, it's it's better to push in, and you won't get no um, pixelation. Okay. So if you... R- people record in 4K, so just to push in. Like, yeah. get those... Ah, let me get that close-up on that face. Ah, yeah, this is good. Okay. Okay. And it stays clear. Oh, we got a, we got a visitor, guys. All right. Uh, we're going to pay some bills real quick. Damn, I was about to say that. Uh, I was about to say that. Let me, let me do a quick promo. Um, shout out to Barbell Barbell Apparel. They make these uh, s- stretchy jeans for guys like me who have thick thighs. Uh, they come in a 34 length inseam. 34? Standard. So if you're tall like Rob, they come in standard, perfect. But if you're short like me, 
you uh you got to go to the tailor. You got to get them uh, hemmed. And they're not tight on your dick either. So yeah, or because when you ride a motorcycle, you yeah. kind of like got a spread spread eagle. You know what I mean? But uh yeah, if you want ten percent off, type in code sumo s o s u m o ten for ten percent off. All and right. we'll be back. We'll be back. Damn. What's that joint? Dun, dun, back to business. Santana's back to business. I don't know that one. Damn. I know. Ballin'. Da, oh, da, da, da. Fly, uh, I don't even know. I, no I, I mixed two songs right there. Y- you I was did. like, <laughs> let the boys be boys. <laughs> Ballin'. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I forgot how, how, uh, how that goes now. Let the boys be boys. boys. Slam. Oh, slam. Da, da, da. <laughs> How'd you make slam in? Wait. I mean, Ballin'. it's two basketball moves. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we I mean. fly high. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they're two true. different, like, that's decades. That's like when I make jump, jump, and jump around. So ah, yeah. it's the same thing. All right, jump we're back. Uh, bing, let's, bing, let's get back bing, into what bing. we were talking about. Do, do. Uh, hey, guys, we're back. <laughs> videography. All right. Robbie, tell me tell me something what, like, most newbies, like, just forget to do. Or not even forget, but, like, something they really need to highlight on or, like, should focus on when starting. All right. Um, first off... Um, one thing you should know is honestly, I'm like editing, editing. Yeah, here's the thing. Besides uh, knowing the software, if you're uh, if you're beginning video editor, if you're being a videographer, if even if you're trying to be a um just in in production, video production at all, just know some of the basic things. Like, hey, it's mostly about the lens. Like, I have what is it? I've just got a, a Black Magic camera. It's coming next week. Dope. But I have a TI eighty three. I mean, not, not TI eighty three. T three I Canon Rebel T three I. I mean, I use a calculator. I have one of those like, too. <laughs> <laughs> I use that to film, boy. I used to write "hello" upside down. <laughs> <laughs> a boobless <laughs> boobies. <laughs> Wow, high school days. <laughs> high school? <laughs> I mean, I didn't have that calculator until I got high school. I'm still doing that. <laughs> high school? It's like, nah. <laughs> I, I haven't used a calculator like that. I, I still have one, man. I was like, you don't need calculus function work anymore, or do you? It depends, actually. Really? When, um, yeah. I, Log, sine, cosine. I'll say the most math I use nowadays is if it's either trigonometry, and that's, you know, dealing with size and shape and stuff Angle. like that. Okay, that makes sense yeah. for, like, editing stuff. And then for... Or graphic design. Yeah, basic learning, mortgage, you, or anything math like that. I don't see algebra, but it's just... Algebra, I probably use the most. Yeah, algebra... And, and finance, then, Excel yeah. sheets, spreadsheets. I'm and conceptual algebra. math, but anything like geometry, I'm like, yo... I don't need this at all. Well, tri- trigonometry and geometry, aren't they similar in some aspects? Some aspects, but you're going to use more trigonometry than geometry. Oh, okay. But yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, we are only got on a tangent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted you to actually talk about colors. I'm like editing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said the question. Oh, okay. So, hey, you should ask me that. So this is one thing. Uh, even I forget. I can't even be like, yo, I'm so great. Um, I forget sometimes. I forgot a lot in the past. Um, when you edit a video, even not raw, but people forget that you can add some color to spice it up. Colors make everything pop out. Yes. Like, it's dope. Colors make everything look like from an ugly slug to a beautiful butterfly, you know? Like, if I didn't feel bad about, like, making Robbie go through an hour of my podcast to edit all the colors, like, the podcast would probably be better on YouTube. Oh, yeah, probably for color. But the audio is all me. Yeah. Ah, ah, question. <laughs> Spit that shit. Teach them devils. Fire. Fuego. <laughs> La Flame. It's like, let me stop. <laughs> 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 but yeah, coloring is always important because people sleep on that. But it's, I'm not going to lie, it's sometimes hard because people just throw in a LUT and be like, it's good, right? It's like, nah, you got to just play around with it. Like, don't be afraid to just uh, do your own color scheme. Like, if you want to make, uh, if you make your own videos or whatever on YouTube, or whatever, and you're like, yo, I want it to have a teal look. Then play around with that teal. Make it, don't do it because everybody else is doing it. That orange and teal look that people do, it, you see it a lot in like. I like blue and orange though. Yeah, that's the thing. These are a little fade. The Knicks. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> 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 you and this New York fan. 
<laughs> you know you don't like no damn niggas. No, I don't like the niggas. I like the colors, so. though. Oh, okay. They're okay. blue and yellow. Are say. they blue and yellow? No, they're blue and they're orange. They're blue and orange, yeah. Oh, what did you say? You said blue and orange. I said orange, like teal and orange. Well, it's same thing. Damn, Mandela effect happened. <laughs> <laughs> it just did. <laughs> Nelson Mandela's about to pop out from the grave. I told you. It's like, no, nah, that ain't Nelson Mandela. I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> I, I forgot what it did, to be honest. Who? Nelson Mandela. I heard he went to jail, I think. I'm like mad ignorant right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, somebody zoom in on the video <laughs> after ah! edit it like a meme. Like, I was like. Who's that guy on the, on the meme? Dude. Just like, what? <laughs> you know when I actually saw what that, where it came from? Like, I don't really I like, under, understand the uh, the reference. What? It was like, I think his mom said something to him. Like the actual video oh, uh, of what? the guy doing that, like. What are you talking about? First? Oh, Nick Young? Is that Nick Young? Yeah, that was Nick Young. Oh. Yeah, his mom said something dumb, and he's just like, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, well, all right, that makes sense, actually. Yeah, so he made the face like this, and people are like, that's a confused look when somebody <laughs> says something dumb. No, but I think it was actually what her what his mom said. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, no, but it, I said it was dumb, but what she actually said was like not really that dumb. Hey. That's what I thought. And then it's internet. I don't know. But, well, well, it probably wasn't that dumb, but it made a good meme thing. That's all you need is a good face or whatever, and it makes a good meme, like a good reaction. Facts. Like like the guy blinking his eyes, like blink blink. That was a good meme reaction. It's e- it's easy to make memes out here, guys. Yeah, don't make it too hard. But getting back to <laughs> <laughs> colors, <laughs> yeah, editing. colors, coloring is important. Um, I like I said, I have a T three I and uh, Black Magic camera, and I've used that for. Weddings. I've used that for music videos. I've used that for commercials. I've used that for. Funny enough, I've used that on some like big company stuff. And the only thing that really mattered is if I had a good lens because the camera could be great, but if the lens is shit, it's not worth it. So I would say use a. Some good lenses are cheap out here nowadays. So Amazon, Amazon, a BH Photo, and um. Adorama, eBay, eBay especially. If you're on a budget, go to eBay. People have so many lenses on there for cheap. So many people buy cameras, don't even know how to use it, and be like, oh. Yeah, figure out I the settings, too. <laughs> figure out the settings for your camera. Like, it, if it's mirrorless or not, or what does this mean? Why is it, uh, through, what does this 3,000 Kelvin mean when I put it in a white balance? And figure all that out. It'll help you. Like, those small things will help you better. Like, why is a... Uh, why do I have to use 24 frames for some stuff and 30 frames for some stuff? Why can't I use uh, 25 frames here? What's PAL? What's NT? Like, small stuff like that will really help you out if you want to get better at it than other people. It'll, like, those small little critiques, it's like, you know, when you um, are fixing your bike and you, like, do those small tweaks that make it, like, ride much smoother. That's what you're supposed to do for You know what helps with production. that? No distractions. Airplane mode. That's Shout true. Out. Stick to the airplane mode. It'll help you focus. It'll help you keep that tunnel. Especially if you're like me and you just... Mad sporadic. Yeah. I'm very sporadic. That water sign. Aquarius. Yeah. Trying to just like, oh, oh, you guys are doing that? Oh, oh hey. Yeah, let, let me try. It's fun. Uh, you know Let what? me jump in that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> just try it. Or let me throw everything out there. That Aquarius, water sign, uh, MBTI, NFP, um, I don't know the other stuff. It's it's too much to name. This is from uh, ISTJ Taurus, yeah. Earth sign. I'm mad grounded, so I just be like, from tunnel the, vision all day. From that rock nation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, rock, rock, rock all day. Rockly. <laughs> Rockly, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Naruto. Shout out Naruto and Avatar, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Kung Jitsu. <laughs> Man, I wish I could do that. I would, I would accomplish so much. Hey, you can. Like clone myself? I you, could. You could. I probably could. You could. I'm not going to lie. I can see that happening in the future. If Yo, it's already happening now, underground. I it would be like Mad Miata gang. Like, everyone oh, yeah. Mad Miata. Just <laughs> the whole road. <laughs> that would look weird as hell. Like, yeah, that's a whole bunch of Miatas. <laughs> Same guy. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> a lot of NPCs around here. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Hello? You mean BDE? <laughs> I feel that BDE <laughs> going around. <laughs> Walking like this. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> Why are they walking like that? Oh, he got BDE. <laughs> Sound like a disease that everybody wants. Yo, I got that BDE. Dog, you got that? 
Damn, I don't got that at all. Man, that's dead stock. <laughs> I got, <laughs> I got, got. <laughs> Shout out to my sneakerheads. <laughs> I got SBDE. He's like, what? You got SBDE? Damn, dog. Where'd you get those? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got them from Payless. Like, nah. <laughs> People mad confused right now. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no context. I don't know what's going on. Get hip. Catch up faster. Catch Watch up. all my episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to number one. You know, do like Game of Thrones. If you can watch Game of Thrones, you can watch these. Support your people. Facts. Oh, yeah. Mad facts. But, yeah, getting back to production. Um, <laughs> yeah, just uh, small skills like that. Oh, yeah. And it's a big difference because somebody asked me this one time. And uh, they were asking me. Um, they were like, yeah, I'm a cinematographer. You know, I do this. I was like, are you just starting? Like, yeah. I was like, okay, that's cool. You have the script in your mind. You're a cinematographer. But. Knows the skills of a cinematographer. No difference between cinematographer and just a regular videographer. It's very big difference. Cinematographer has to know much more color science and everything. Uh, I feel like I think a big summary of what's going on is like, I, I, the, uh, my biggest takeaway from from just this conversation was that be humble, take start start from the ground up, like do product. Production, production assistant. It's just if you want to break it down super small. Yeah, start from you, the give me your up. own words and how you, how you did it. Start from the ground up. Practice. Be humble. Be humble and go out there. Yeah. There's. Oh, actually, I have a question on that. Yeah. So, can you talk about your networking skills now? Okay. <laughs> you know, so many people just because in the in the production world or just videography world, yeah. like higher up, just because you started from the bottom and you were just willing to help people. Almost for free, in a, in a way. Yeah. In the beginning, uh, I didn't mind helping out for people free. Even sometimes if I see the value of it, I'm like, okay, if they're honestly giving me some value, I'm going to jump out there. Right. Or experience. Yeah. Experience is and I, a, a valuable, very I, valuable. I love experience. I love jumping out there. So I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, but, no problem. Well, let me, let me talk about a quick fact. Like, for me to work in the State Department, like, a lot of people nowadays, when it comes to jobs, and I, and I have to, like, interview people who just straight come out of college. Yeah. It's like almost a requirement to have experience out of college. Like, I don't, I mean, it's cool that you have a bachelor's degree, but we need experience. We need people who can jump in and problem solve situations and get the job done. Yeah. I don't, I don't have time to be teaching you stuff, but I, I realize that's kind of what we have to do as well. Yeah. Sometimes you, you have to have an, I would say, not a, probably an adaptive personality to be able to. Uh, you got to learn how to problem solve. Like, yeah. everything. Everything you can learn is probably on Google, but you also have to like apply it and execute certain things in order to you to fix ex- exact problems. Like it's one thing to know it, like to be textbook smart, but it's another thing to actually be the doer. And I think that's what most companies and people look for in terms of help. Like that's the one thing I really like appreciate about you. Like even though you you don't want to like be on the spotlight but you still do things you help you help along the process and that's that's amazing to me yeah it, i don't know it's fun like and i i love helping like doing the process cuz it's it's like to nobody else i love um stories so i like seeing like all of my friends stories of them like grinding. come to life right yeah just like i i get to watch it like it's yeah seeing like having control of all these movies and watching like okay damn this was brian's doing oh this is cool all right man if he needs help with that one help him. oh this is what isaac oh this is what john's on this is what demani's on this is what rolando's on this is what it's like i get to see all these stories and like watch them uh being unraveled as i and i'm just like eating popcorn in the bag yeah. like yo this is great oh this is what nick's doing this is what it's like watching live doing. movies yeah and like in real time too that's why i get uh, like so enthralled by it. just uh if it's somebody doing something small like hyping them up like they might think it's small. i'm like nah that's big like yeah somebody could tell me like yo i'm 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 trying to do uh become the top janitor i'm like oh shit that's what's Where up. is he gonna take this i'm like yo this is bomb he's like yo i'm just trying to change the game because you know what what everybody's doing is wrong and i want to do better and then i see him like go through the struggle of just like man people were denying me you know i couldn't get a call so I was struggling I was like picking up jobs while having just only my van living outside. I'm like and I'm just watching this and I like help them out the way but I'm just like watching like damn 
damn, this dude, yo, he's going through it, man. But he he sees that vision. He he's manifest that day. Like I'm gonna be the top janitor company in all the world. And, the, and then just seeing that process go through, or like I'm gonna who's it? I'm gonna make sure we just fly into space. I'm gonna build a flying city. I'm like, oh shit. You know, that's a crazy ass idea, but you have so much drive, he's just he's just gonna do it. And I'm just like watching it like, yo, man. And if he's like needs help like promoting it with video or whatever, I'm like, yo, let me help you out. And he's like, Yeah, thanks, man. I just get to watch that process, you know? It's like the early like a mechanic building a car. Yeah. He just gets to be the whole process and he like it he has like that apprentice, like he's like, Yo, watch me build this. I will I will show you how to build the car. And it's like watching him build the car and that apprentice is like, Wow, this is how you do it? And that's me. I'm like, Wow, man, you guys are doing it. This is amazing. This is cool. Like I get so hyped up. It it's insane. It's like it's like a drug to me. I feel euphoric. I'm like, Oh man, this is great. Like Sometimes I get overhyped. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, and I'm like, yeah. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak on this. Like, what I really want to say is, like, you know, your true friends when they actually they notice your growth. Like, from what you just like that whole like monologue, basically. Yeah. Like, I really want everyone to watch whatever episode Robbie did with me last year. There's so much more passion this year. Oh, for real? Yeah. Damn. Like, because now you have like uh, a niche. Because before we kind of introduced you as an investor, yeah, and now you kind of went all in. You, you did invest your time, yeah. but it's all into videography and like ah, just speaking okay. and all everything you just said. Like you have so much more knowledge on like a specific topic, and that's that's awesome to me. Damn, like, I didn't even notice that. Exactly, because like I'm a true friend. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm that, your yeah. real guy. Ah, ah, ah. Damn. damn uh, that bomb. We got hit that. We got to hit that. Uh, that's that true friendship <laughs> yeah and I, it's so it's so dope like i'm i'm really excited for this season where i'm gonna meet everyone else again like i i probably every everyone i pretty much interviewed in this podcast i didn't talk too much besides like our core little group yeah who actually work with me but i think slowly and slowly most of the people that i've interviewed they're they're working growing, around yeah. me too as well that's good that's we're all good. in the same industry in some sort that's cool. That's cool, man. In that's terms amazing. of like creatives and entrepreneurship. Yeah, you, you lit the spark, man. That started the match and the flame is rising. Uh, let, me, let me ask you, like, what do you, what do you think that you wanted to do? I mean, you said you wanted to help people, but like, do you, do you have any end game for yourself? Uh, like, one end game, honestly, is I want to be able to, uh, I told myself this and I, I wrote it down. I said, I want to create that into a, a brand or a company where I'm able to just jump anywhere mm-hmm. and help somebody turn those gears. With like anything? Just with anything, anything physical. Like the video will always be there because I just love it too much. I've been doing okay. it since, good Lord, damn, when I thought about it. See? I've been doing it since like 10 years old, damn. Yeah. Yeah, no, even longer than that. But my main niche Marketing is always. Marketing sales everywhere. It, damn, that's true. It's man. everywhere. Like no matter what. It's been, um, I always loved the enjoyment of just jumping in. And if somebody needs that skill right then and there, I can jump in and help. Yeah. It's, I've, I've noticed that. I've always did that. And I've always enjoyed it. Because it's more so the fact that they have that task accomplished. I'm like, <sighs> so that's why uh, I really like uh, the anime Golden Boy. Where yeah. he was able to just be like, yo, damn bam, come in. Let me help. I'll yeah. help you. And then he could just dip off and it's just like they admired him for what he did yeah and like, they're like okay yeah. and, it, and it didn't matter like it wasn't like he helped save the world for that person it was yeah. like oh you need this delivered i can i can take yeah. it to you i'm on a bike <laughs> yeah it's just i i like to keep it that simple but yeah. make it like at a grander scale right like, like the more you can do the better like the more knowledge you have the more value you can provide and yeah. that's that's super dope to me um I, I think I want to I want to recap with this question too. Like I feel like every podcast I ask this question is yeah. like, who are the five people you're closest to, and like how do they how do you relate to them? Because I feel like every year or oh, not every changes. year it changes. It changes. Yeah. So like now that you're more selective with your time, because yeah. you put yourself on airplane mode now, and it's <laughs> like who are the people that you actually like? Oh shit! Like these are these are my guys. Oh, d- does or it matter girls. if uh... not, not? It can be virtual or like. Dead or alive? Yeah, uh, I guess. Okay, yeah, because I was like, because um, I would say uh, dead wise. Uh, damn, this is. Yeah, it's that deep question. Yeah, I was like, 
Damn, because my list is always like... Yeah, I know. I'd be telling you all the time my top five yeah. changes like almost on the weekly. <laughs> I would say um, one was, uh, of course, uh, I would have to say funny enough, um, Rolo was one of them. Rolo uh, Tomasi. After uh, Demati gave the book, I was like, yo, this is, this is bomb. This is really an incitement. Um, one is two is uh, even though he's dead, uh, Patrice O'Neill. Okay. Because Patrice O'Neill got me to really like look back and be like, "Yo, man, I don't have to stress about a lot. What am I stressing about about all this stuff that doesn't matter?" Like, yeah. It got me uh, like really to be like, "Ah, yeah." Three is of still because I still listen to his podcast or his old teachings to this day is Neville Goddard because it taught me to actually manifest things and do it. Actually, not just like envision it and just live in a moment as to though be an it was executor. real. Yeah. yeah, and just live what you want to be, right? And not just be like slumping. Like change your, change your whole script, change the dialogue in your mind that you hear every day. Like change your subconscious. Like change that worldview you see of yourself. And I was like, okay, yeah, that that's bomb. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna keep doing that. That's what's up. I'm gonna keep doing that. Four, of course, is still Golden Boy. Even though it's anime. anime like, okay. Yeah. I like that. I like the creativity boy. on yeah. this. Yeah. I was like, Golden Boy. That's dope. And uh, five, because I still like, uh, yeah, I still um, respect his uh, work ethic to this day. It will still be, uh, let's see. Damn, I have 10. <laughs> but I'll, you this said is, five. It's five. Yeah, yeah. It's for five right now. I would say. Next episode, we'll go to the other five. Yeah. Was in, hmm. Damn, five. Uh, hmm. That silence. Yeah, because it's it's uh, my inner uh, talkings are battling like yeah. five and six. Eight. They're like, oh, this would be five. This would be five. No, but this would be six. He is six. I, is six. I just want to recap on your top four. Yeah. They're all great storytellers because they either have a podcast that are st- still going on off of their own thoughts yeah. after they're dead or there are um there's almost they're all evergreen projects like and when i mean evergreen is something that lives on infamy like it provides a feeling um to an individual that will last forever like it's based off of a, a theme or a theory that never ends like if i were to teach you how to cook like you will always be hungry oh, no yeah. matter what so that will live forever. No matter what kind of recipes I have, I have, like it will teach you how to cook. <laughs> That's true. Damn. So I, I want everyone to really realize that because I know a lot of people that I've ever asked this question to, they get they take it real literal, yeah, and it's. Take it. yeah. I, know, I mean, it's not not bad. It's not horrible that they take it literal, but it it shows what their true groundings are, and um, it's generally the parents, their significant other, or like best friends. That's true, but I mean that's that's a good start, and I I, I truly want if I mean that's if that's, that's your actual goal, and that's who you want to surround yourself with, and that's who you aspire to grow with. Yeah. Then by all means, that's awesome. But if you have aspirations that if you were born or raised in an area that wasn't as um, diverse or have a lot of perspectives, in order for you to grow to the next level, then I highly um, encourage people to seek outside their own culture yeah, and that's um true. yeah so i don't even like i mean i i care about like your fifth but i know that fifth doesn't matter who exactly it is yeah. that person is going to be like a good storyteller yeah yeah true. and it's almost like i just want more people to hear other storytellers so they can actually look it up as well ah that's true that's true yeah damn that makes sense facts and yeah, that's what the real Real facts. Bang bang. <laughs> I got that mind blowing stuff. <laughs> that <sighs> silence. <That's> the ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Then let's, let's see if we can wrap it up on that. Um, uh, do you have anything wait. you want to say, or you want to say that fifth? Uh, damn, yeah, I want to say. Oh, um, this is funny. It's funny. Um, oh man. Um, he's a he's a physicist. Uh, oh, Brian really? Cox. Oh. I was going to say Neil deGrasse Tyson. Nah, Brian. I was just listening to him. I, I, I like him. He's cool. He's cool. But I like yeah. how he explains um, damn. Uh, I like physicists. No, I just thought of so much that he explains. I'm like, yeah. 
Yeah, but he just brings astrophysics. It's just anything in between. He just makes it fun. I gotta look him up. Yeah, he just makes it fun. Like low key, my like science guys would yeah. be like um, Bill Nye, Bill, oh, yeah. Bill Nye, and uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Those are like heavy hitters in my world when it comes to like learning science because they make it like Neil deGrasse Tyson. He has like a hip hop background because he's from the Bronx. Yeah, so I understand his communication style. Bill Nye is just so off the wall goofy yeah. that it makes it entertaining to learn. Yeah, I like his goofy personality, Bill Nye. Yeah, and, uh, but like on the real, he's actually serious. Like yeah. I saw him a video of like girls just like going to the elevator and oh. he was in there, and <laughs> I was like, like, huh. I was he was like, like, hey ladies. <laughs> yeah, because they were like twerking in the elevator, and then he was like, uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and they had to shape up. No, you yeah. know who my fifth is? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You know who my fifth is? Who? Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers? Mr. Rogers. That's that's low key. Like, or that's it's like low key like fire. I was like I, I rewatched that. I was like, yeah. Cause I was Mr. like Rogers Brian neighborhood. Cox and yeah. Mr. Rogers. And I was like, yo, for some reason this year I watched um a few more documentaries, a few more stuff on I was like, yo. Yeah. Damn, that's bomb. I was like, cool. Cause his messages were so simple, but it had like a deep impact. Like he planted the smallest seed and it was like and maybe be like, oh yeah, Dang. I did that, and I was like, yo, that's beautiful. Planting the smallest seed so the tree could grow into something beautiful. I was like, man. Ooh, all right, all right I got, I got. This is this is about my new question. I'm gonna ask everyone from now on. If you had a heads up display, that's like Google Glass for like either while you're standing or even in the car. Yeah. That everyone had to see in their whole life. What would what would it say? For me. For, yeah. What well, What would your thought for you want everyone in the world to see. Like, you know how Google Glass has like, uh, it's kind of like Iron Man where you have like the, all that information in front of your face. Oh, what would like, I see about them? No, no, no. What, what would you want everyone to see? Like the first thing they do when they wake up, it's kind of like, all right, this saying oh, or like a quote saying. statement or something. Um, I would say, uh, damn, that would be cool. Yeah, uh, that's that cool, right? That's cool. I know, that's that question. I was like, yeah, ah, that's man. bomb. I would say, um, nah, I wouldn't say live by your truth. That's not me. Um, live, uh, I w- oh, man. It wouldn't be something deep. It would just, I would just say live. Yeah. I would just say live because that could be so many different things for so many different people. Robbie's heads up display would be live. Yeah. I like that. Oh yeah. Simple. I like simplicity, <laughs> minimalism. Oh, the, we the, taught you. The theme. It circles back, oh, baby. Oh, all day. Throw that spirit box. <laughs> Yo, appreciate your time, Rob. Hey, wait, wait. Hold on before we done. All right, quick shout out. Okay. Okay. Everybody, shout out to Garrett. Go watch Garrett's uh production. He's coming out more if you need his help. Boom. Who's Garrett? Uh, Garrett. Garrett. Oh, Garrett. Yeah. I don't even know how to say his last name. It don't matter. Everybody knows Garrett. Uh, um, I'll link to his YouTube yeah. in the description. Oh, no. I'm just I'm about to do a whole shout-out for a whole bunch of people. Okay. Shout-out to Rolando. Man, he's great in fitness, great in teaching. Yo, this dude's killing it in Muay Thai. Yo, I met him at TEDx. For real? He's friends with Chad. Yo, oh, yeah, they are. I did not know that. Yo, it's a small world. Facts. Damn. Heads up display, live. That's what's up. Check out my boy, RF. Dang, that's too many shout outs. Right All right, now. I'm about to cut you off. Shout out JFK's album. You know, go get it. Russell JFK. Three, his album. two, uh, one. All right, until next time, fellas or ladies, peoples. Okay, bye. Guanjito. Ah. <laughs>